All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So the official Dragon Ball Legends Twitter accounts have just shown us the next free to play sparking unit that we'll be getting in the game, which ironically, this unit was also leaked a few hours earlier as usual, thanks to Apple's App Store. But it is going to be none other than Majin Vegeta. But now, since the official Twitter account has actually tweeted about it, we do have details and gameplay as well. So with that being said, let's take a look. Come, I'll crush you into dust. So now that we've seen what he can do, let's break it down. So it says, event exclusive Majin Vegeta is coming. Use special arts to restore an own vanishing gauge as well as nullify own abnormal conditions and attribute downgrades. Restore health and get damage up after enemy attack is over with Majin Vegeta's unique ability. Okay, so before we actually get into the details, this is kind of weird, right? Because we did also get the announcement that we are getting a part three to the anniversary and that will be happening i'm assuming either july 13th or july 14th one or the other but we know that the next video and stuff for part three of the anniversary will be happening on the 12th and the fact that we're getting a free-to-play unit that is focused on the boo saga then maybe the next unit that we're going to be getting for part three of the anniversary like the next like big headliner is more than likely going to be a unit along those lines either maybe a saiyan maybe a super saiyan 2 unit i don't really know if it will be vegeta family it could be i don't know but all in all though it's making me believe that the next big unit is going to be more than likely a saiyan at the very least because it would be extremely weird for them to release this majin vegeta and then the next like big unit comes out and vegeta doesn't even correlate with that unit at all so i'm pretty sure that the next big unit has to be a saiyan it's the only thing that makes sense right but um breaking down uh what vegeta can do it says again using special arts to restore own vanishing gauge as well as nullify own abnormal conditions and attribute downgrades that is actually a really good ability the only thing is is it limited because it could be again you could use your special skill and then you restore your vanish and you uh, nullify you know abnormal conditions and uh, attribute downgrades but it can be only up to three times total or three times while you're in battle then afterwards you can't do it until you swap out or whatever the case may be it's a really good ability but i at least want to be able to maximize on its potential so i'm hoping that it's something that is continuous and not restricted and honestly speaking with it being a free-to-play unit i'm pretty sure this vegeta is going to be good again i've been saying this time and time again the free-to-play units as of late have been nothing short of fantastic so i'm pretty sure this majin vegeta is going to be good and not only that i mean we we got to get a majin vegeta that lasts bro i mean the red majin vegeta didn't last that long the blue one really didn't last that long that unit was really really good but that one didn't last that long because if i'm not mistaken he got replaced pretty quickly and then now we have this one and if this one gets replaced early then i'm just losing hope for majin vegeta bro like my man needs some love all right stop doing him wrong but uh moving on you're able to restore your health and get damage up after enemy attack is over with majin vegeta's unique ability so uh i think that actually brings the question what type would this unit even be right because seeing that it's you, you get buffs based off of the enemy attack being over. It could be that this Vegeta would be a defense type, but that wouldn't make any sense for Majin Vegeta, like, at all. Because we all know Majin Vegeta goes crazy. Like, it would make sense if he was a melee type by some sort of extension, maybe a range type, sure. But I, I would, and definitely not a support type. It's Majin Vegeta. The support is literally not in his DNA at that point. But it's i don't know either melee ranged or defense and based off of that defensive perk that he has like he gets a buff after the enemy's um combo or not combo but enemy attack is over yeah so i guess combo he gets a buff so i'm assuming that he could be defensive i don't know but honestly speaking i think the biggest issue right now is what is going to be the team that he primarily focuses himself on because remember that super saiyan 2 as like a viable team doesn't exist 
like the main unit that was super saiyan 2 that could have led that charge and if i'm not mistaken he didn't even buff that tag was zenkai lf super saiyan 2 gohan and again good unit well he was a good unit now he's definitely outdated there are plenty of units that are better than him now but that was like the unit that could have led that team and then maybe build something around that but as of right now super saiyan 2 as a tag to use online not a good idea even super saiyans is a better tag than super saiyan 2 even super saiyan 3 at this point is a better tag than super saiyan 2 because at least super saiyan 3 you have the new uh lf uh super saiyan 3 dragon fist goku who's a really really good unit so there's no way in the world that you're gonna be using this vegeta on super saiyan 2 maybe saying if you want to there is a lot of leeway with that team because there are plenty of units that can just kind of be mashed together and kind of make that team work and then you have the other side which is vegeta family and well vegeta clan now and when i think about that let's see uh you have tag super saiyan blue goku and vegeta you have uh well i guess if you want to use the yellow trunks you could you also have lf um lf uh, sort of hope trunks and uh i'm forgetting one uh lf super saiyan blue vegeta i don't remember if i said him or not so i guess if, if there are options if you do want to use them on vegeta family it's just it's really weird because when it comes down to boo saga stuff i i mean we have some units but a lot of them are outdated so trying to form a team off of that saga is not really going to be the easiest thing but it is possible but as of right now i would personally say that more than likely the safest team that you could run is probably going to be saiyan but again only time will tell but yeah i'm i'm excited to see what this monster vegeta can do again i've been extremely impressed with the free-to-play units like i said earlier and again if this is any type of hint towards the part three of the fourth anniversary then we can at least make the assumption that part three of the anniversary is going to be focused on the boo saga and at that point i i don't know because it would also have to be a saiyan it's the only logical option unless if, it, if it's like a villain or something that'll be kind of cool i'd like to see like a, maybe a new buhan or like a new kid boo or something but if it is a saiyan maybe we could get ultra super vegeto like it could be time because i mean that's definitely boo saga so i i don't know but I'm, I'm leaning towards boo saga for part three but we'll find out all those details on the 12th when the third part of the reveals and stuff happens for the fourth anniversary but all in all though i do want to know you guys' thoughts in the comment section below what are your thoughts on the Majin vegeta even though he got leaked a few hours ago but what are your thoughts on the new Majin vegeta that we'll be getting in the game more than likely tomorrow and also what are your thoughts and expectations for part three of the dragon ball legends fourth anniversary again let me know in the comment section below but with that being said i'm in like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video